മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസംസ് പ്ലേ ആൻഡ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് റോൾ ഇൻ അവർ മെഡിസിനൽ വേൾഡ് ടുഡേ ക്യാൻ ബി ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ മെഡിസിനൽ യൂസസ് ഓഫ് മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസംസ് ഹാവ് യു അവർ വണ്ടേഡ് വാട്ട് മെഡിസിനൽ വേൾഡ് വുഡ് ബി വിത്തൗട്ട് മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസംസ് സർ അലക്സാണ്ടർ ഫ്ലെമിംഗ് വാസ് എമിനൻറ്റ് ഡോക്ടർ and a good scientist specifically a bacteriologist he accidentally discovered the first ever antibiotic on 14th february 1929 you may be wondering why i quoted the word accidentally it was an accidental discovery in fact dr fleming was working on a culture of disease causing bacteria called staphylococci which he left uncovered in his lab he observed that the spores of little green mold has grown on one of his cultural plate killed the bacteria and spoiled his experiment but he never felt bad and never gave up he thought on another way what if this mold have the ability to destroy the deadly dangerous bacteria he worked on it isolated it and started to experimenting further later he found that even some of the most dangerous germs die near the mold Dr Fleming published his result calling the mold as penicillin After many experiments scientists were able to initiate mass production of life saving drug penicillin the first ever antibiotic Just imagine if you were born a century ago before this wonderful discovery you could even die from a small scratch anywhere on your body if it got infected do you know more soldiers died of infected wound during world war 1 mass produced form of penicillin was ready by 1942 that was just in time to help the soldiers wounded in world war 2 less than 1% of soldiers died of bacterial infection in world war 2 let us thank sir fleming for making our life better now can we define antibiotics what are antibiotics antibiotics are substances produced or derived from a microorganism basically bacteria or fungi that destroy or inhibit the growth of other microorganisms however they are not effective against viral diseases such as common cold and flu let us make it bit more clear by adding our daily life examples what did a doctor advise you when you go with an infected swelling wound or a deep cut after any dental extraction he gives some antibiotic tablets injections in specific doses and remind you to complete the course prescribed Have you ever thought why when we stop taking the medicine even before prescribed time the bacteria have the ability to grow again at rapid speed if we take antibiotics we need to follow some precautions precautions for taking antibiotics the first precaution we should not take antibiotics without the advice of a doctor 
take only under advice of doctor okay and the second precaution is complete the course prescribed the doctor may told you to take the antibiotics in a week you may be thinking that after 2 days our disease has recovered but actually the complete disease causing bacteria will not die in our body so when you stop taking the medicine then the bacteria will be growing rapidly in our body that will affect again badly so complete the course prescribed manner the third precaution is do not take wrong doses the doctor may mention how much amount example uh, 5 ml of antibiotics or several ml of antibiotics you need to take don't take less or more amount of the medicine that will not be affecting in our body doctors are checking the symptoms according to the symptoms only they are writing the antibiotic so if you take less all the bacteria disease causing bacteria will not die if you take more the F, uh, beneficial bacteria may die so you should take in the correct dose the last step do not take antibiotic unnecessarily it may kill beneficial bacteria in your body make sure you consult a doctor before taking any antibiotics never try self medication it is dangerous some commonly known antibiotics are streptomycin tetracycline cephalosporin erythromycin do you think antibiotics are only used by human what about plants and animals antibiotics are not only used by humans plants and animals also we are using antibiotics to prevent various diseases do you know who is dr edward jenner during his time smallpox was a major global epidemic disease only in europe it killed around 4 lakh people per year without discriminating rich and poor even five kings were killed but for some reason milkmaids never get the deadly smallpox disease and they were escape from the scar mark of the disease but why that was something that interested dr edward jenner he knew that milkmaids sometimes cause small blisters on their hand when the cow suffering from cowpox cowpox didn't do the milkmaid much harm jenner then thought smallpox and cowpox related those who catch cowpox not getting the disease smallpox he decided to prove it for this he needed three things cowpox that he extracted from the milkmaid smallpox from a patient a person who had never caught both the disease for that he chose an 8 year old boy james phipps for his experimentation first he infected the child with cowpox james were ill but he soon recovered from that disease Six weeks later, Dr. Edward Jenner, 
infected James the deadly disease smallpox. But James didn't get the disease smallpox. He lived till the ripe old age. Dr. Edwards Jenner's experiment was successful. Now the smallpox is being wiped out from the world. Don't you think Dr. Jenner's discovery was amazing? It was the time when almost 60% of the population in England was infected by smallpox and about 20% died from it. It was his remarkable power of observation and the risk he took to prove his experiments that saved millions of lives. Edward Jenner is known to be a doctor who saved the most lives in the history of mankind. He discovered the first ever successful vaccine in the year 1798. So let us now examine what vaccines really are and how they protect us from all the grave diseases. Vaccine is the familiar term to all of us, right? It is the indeed an important part of our childhood memories. Don't you remember the ink mark they put on your thumb after you were given the oral polio vaccine? And you came back saying, I voted for the first time. Have you seen the round scar on your upper left arm or maybe on the right? That is also one of the vaccine. To examine all these, first we shall try to define vaccine. Vaccine, it derived from the term vaccinia. Which mean cowpox. A vaccine is a dead or weakened form of a microbe, which, when introduced into our body, safeguards as against the particular microbial disease. How is your body stimulated to gain protection against the disease? just by introduction of a weakened microbe in our body. Have you ever heard the term antibody? Don't confuse it with our antibiotics. When a disease causing microbes enters our body, the body produces certain antibodies to fight against that microbes. After that fight, we will not get the disease. If our immunity power is perfect, it is releasing correct number of antibodies against that disease causing microbes. We will not get the disease. After that, the body also remember how to fight the microbe if it enters again. So, if dead or weakened microbes are introduced in a healthy body, the body, the body produces suitable antibodies. In fact, these antibodies bind to a specific foreign particles. They are also called as antigen and block it from attacking the body. In the case of vaccine, the foreign particle here is the weakened microbes itself. The best part is that the antibodies remain inside our body even after the antigen is destroyed and re retain the memory so that when the disease comes, they are ready to block it fast. We can even compare our antibodies 
to the brave soldiers who protect our nation when the invaders tried stepping in they soon form a squad around them and try to destroy them now let us spend some time to examine some of the common vaccines and the diseases that they prevent us from measles rubella vaccine it is a two in one vaccine which saves us from two highly contagious diseases measles and rubella caused by viruses it is generally administered to children around the age of 1 year with a second dose before starting school mr vaccine has been successfully used by many developed countries to eliminate measles and rubella from their population oral polio vaccine opv In India vaccination against polio started in the year 1978 The last reported cases of wild polio in India were in 2011 India was declared a polio free country by the World Health Organization in the year 2014 Pulse polio is an immunization campaign by the government of India to eliminate polio by vaccinating all children under the age of 5 years against the polio virus. BCG vaccine It is the vaccine used against tuberculosis and airborne bacterial disease. One dose is recommended to healthy babies as close to the birth of baby as possible. The round scar mark on your upper arm we mentioned earlier is the result of this injection. The BCG vaccine was first used medically in 1921. It is on the WHO's list of essential medicine. Hepatitis B vaccine. It is used to prevent hepatitis B. It is a disease that leads to inflammation of liver caused by viruses. The first dose of vaccine is recommended within 24 hours of birth. two or three more doses are given after that immunization or vaccination is one of the most important to prevent the life threatening diseases and disabilities this is the basic need for all children the ministry of health and family welfare government of india takes care of the immunization schedule for children in india in your childhood you might have been given vaccinations to protect yourself against several diseases can you prepare a list of these diseases and which are the vaccines you got you may take help from your parents now did you understand the importance of vaccination in our life and how it has saved our life against numerous dangerous diseases now let us end up our session by saying thanks for vaccines and antibiotics for making our life better thanks to you too for listening the class